Now, I'm back with Judy Wileyman. Judy, you've written a book, and I'd like you to give the listeners and viewers some details of what the book is about. Obviously, you have a long history looking into vaccinations and the risks that are involved in them. Can you tell people a bit about the contents of your publication? Yes, the book that I've put out, um, which is titled Vaccination, Australia's Loss of Health Freedom, um, is essentially um, all the research that I found when I looked into the government's vaccination programs and how it has developed um, you know, over the last um, four decades or so. Um, so I also, though, included um, the strategies because by the time I published this book last year, I'd, I'd had a good five years um, of um, all the strategies that are being used to suppress this scientific debate, to suppress, you know, the, the real reasons why infectious diseases were controlled. And so I've added an extra appendix, Appendix 9, which describes some of those strategies um, that, that have, I've experienced. Um, in actual fact, there needs to be another book uh, to describe all of them that I have experienced. It's just the tip of the iceberg, but it, it does explain how we arrived at this medical tyranny in 2020. And I guess the ironic thing was, it's titled Vaccinations, Australia's Loss of Health Freedom, and it became available for public, um, on the market in March 2020 as everybody was being locked up. So it, it wasn't that I had a crystal ball, um, literally, They've been working towards this agenda for over three decades. And um, I put the book out. Um, I guess the reason I decided to publish in the end was um, I was honoured to have, um, I've now got 32,000 downloads of my PhD. So globally, around the world, people are downloading it and um, trying to discover for themselves, you know, what actually did control these diseases. and. Um, you know, so I felt it would be worthwhile to put it into a book. And in addition, I had three health professionals also write endorsements for the book um, and provide some of the science that they've come across as well in their research of up, you know, 40 odd years. So if people wanted to get a copy of the book or download a copy of the PhD thesis, mm -hmm. how would they go about that? Do you have a website or some centralised repository of information about yourself and your research? Yes, I do. Yeah, my website is Vaccination Decisions, so that's uh, www.vaccinationdecisions.net. Um, so people can buy the book from my website. I've also published a lot of the science on my website if people want to get some of that information. There is also a link to the PhD that is published on the University of Wollongong website as well. Okay, so that uh, that website address again, if you wouldn't mind, is www.vaccinationdecisions.net. And vaccination decisions is one word. It is, and um, I should also point out that um, I've now joined up with another group in Australia, vaccination. It's, it's called um, Vaccine Choice Australia. Um, people need to be aware that there is no parent that has come from this position as an anti-vaxxer. That word has been um, created by the mainstream media to demonise choice in vaccination. And if people could only remember that choice in va vaccination has always been the case throughout history. It wasn't until Scott Morrison put in place the no jab, no pay, and then the no jab, no play in 2015 onwards without providing any science to support that policy. And there was no increased risk of any of these diseases in the community. And yet from that time, choice has always been demonized. And we are literally um, ridiculed and denigrated any parent that speaks out. So if people could just recognize that, they need to be brave, we need to get our voice back. Parents need a voice in this government policy. It's, it's supposed to be about health. We need Mr Morrison to um, be accountable and show how this is a health policy. And if not, the parents need to have an influence in the policy. So we've got um, a new organisation called Vaccine Choice Australia. Um, there's a website for that as well. Um, Vaccine Choice Australia, all one word, dot com dot au. And, um, this is a, a website where people can start writing to their politicians uh, about all the false and misleading information that parents are receiving in the mainstream media.
Uh, the website provides um, um, access to your own politicians in a very simple manner and, and gives you assistance with actually writing the letters to the government. So um, everybody needs to get active. We don't want a dysfunctional society and, and that's what will happen if everybody is injected with a drug when we are a genetically diverse population. So you've given us some web addresses. People can delve into these details further at their own leisure. Does the website or those websites also contain contact details if anyone would like to get in contact with you personally? Yes, they can contact me through my website, vaccinationdecisions.net. Um, the, the other website actually um, also has a stand-up tour happening at this time and um, myself, I've joined up with um, a couple. We are going around to many locations in Australia. We're doing New South Wales at the moment and we're giving community talks uh, and trying to connect parents who are also thinking along the same lines who are being demonised for speaking up on the issue. So if people go to the Vaccine Choice Australia website, they can look up the stand-up tour and find the dates of where we will be to give our talks in the next few weeks. Excellent. Well, Judy Wileman, it's been very good talking to you. Thank you for do donating some of your valuable time to us at the Glosser Channel. And uh, hopefully we will be able to do some more interviews next time you're back in Sydney. Thanks, Robert. That would be wonderful. Yep. Thank, Thank you. you.